What will Gahnawage look like in 20 years? According to the Gahnawage Visioning Committee and MCK Initiative, by 2029, all Gahnawage Rono will know, understand, and live our roles and responsibilities as Uguehunwe. The vision describes what our community can look like in 20 years. Which is what? Uh, which, it, which, you know, simply put, a, a community that's strong in our culture and our language, uh, that's unified, that's democratic, independent, uh, that's a healthy community, a safe community where respect isn't just uh, a word bandied about, but that it's, it's used at all levels by everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's a lot of, um, I think, group reflection and also a lot of individual reflection that has to happen. If we're Ganawagarono and we want to have a healthy community in the future for our kids and for our grandchildren, then we have to start making those kinds of changes now. So a lot of reflection goes on to that. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's fine to say this is where we want to be. Uh, again, that challenge is how do we get there? So how does the community arrive at such a future? That needs to be owned by all of the community. Uh, for for Ganawage to then sit back and say, well, Mohawk Council of Ganawage, you have to implement this now, uh, I think sets it up for a, for a disaster only because um, if we're talking the future of a community, everybody has to participate mm -hmm. in that. Mm -hmm. uh, organizations, uh, groups, uh, political organizations. Right. MCK's chief and council formally accepted the committee's report this past Monday. As far as the vision team goes, uh, our, our mandate was to facilitate the development of that shared vision statement. It's, it's finished. We're, we're, we're back into the mix as Ganawagardono and look forward to what next steps are actually going to come out, how um, the uh, Mohawk Council of Ganawage will, will operationalize and begin implementing some of the, the recommendations uh, that we have. It's a huge process. Uh, it's timely. And uh, we certainly look forward that uh, in the winter months, you know, in the next while that things will begin to come out as far as uh, the validation mm -hmm. of this and, and beginning that dialogue of, okay, how do we start to steer our, our various uh, ships and vehicles into this direction? Mm -hmm. November 30th marked the grand opening of Ramp 4 on the Mercier Bridge. Two buses were reserved for spectators wanting to be part of this exciting occasion and the individuals attending were among the first to venture onto the bridge ramp on foot. Representatives from many organizations involved in the repairs were on hand to acknowledge everyone involved and to make the opening official. It's a bridge that's bringing you together as a community, and you as a community are bringing together neighbors across the river. The economic advantage of what you are doing for our neighbors across the river is not measurable in dollars. It's only measurable in the bond of love that you have created and shown to all those who are coming through your lands. I want to thank all the workers. You should be very proud of what you've uh, accomplished. A lot of people uh, that question whether Mohawk community would be able to build such a bridge, to undertake such a, an important uh, undertaking. And uh, I think uh, today you've proved many people wrong. There was never a doubt that our people would be able to complete this one section, coming up with two more in the near future. We're going to be able to work through the rest of our differences, I'm sure, over the next couple of months, if not year and a half, and as long as this bridge takes. And again, I'm very confident in assuring that our people will be involved, not only here, not only in Phase A, and not only in the other ramps, but all the way across to the other part of uh, which connects us to Montreal. Uh, Hashalaga and Jogjago. So we'll be here. Uh, we've been here all along, and as long as this bridge can serve us, we'll be able to serve the people that uh, also cross our territory every day. For Zawana Ariwage, this is Gaditsu Nord McGregor. This week, the Gahnawage Library received a generous donation from Hydro-Quebec in the amount of $6,710, money that was generated through Hydro's EnergyWise Home Diagnostic Campaign here in Gahnawage, where, since May, community members that filled out surveys received a free analysis of their power consumption. For each survey that was filled out, the Gahnawage Library received a donation of $30, 35 if it was online. The Gahnawage Library would like to thank Hydro Quebec and all Gahnawage Rono who filled out the questionnaire. Don't go away. We'll be back right after this.